Hello guys, my name is Pargo and this is my first video on the YouTube. So today I'm gonna start with the basic of the common carotid arteries and basically the main is the internal carotid artery. So let's start from the internal carotid artery. Internal carotid artery is further basically divided into the four parts cervical, petros, cavernous and the cerebral part. It's basically on the base of the regions which they are located and the bifurcation points of the arteries. Actually cervical region has no further branches in it. The next comes the petros. Petros is having the two parts corticotympanic and the pterygoid. First of all the petros is going to the petros region of the temporal bone. Corticotympanic is supplying the blood to the tympanic area of the temporal and the pterygoid via the pterygoid canals. The next comes the cavernous. Cavernous is having main four branches. Hypophysial is supplying blood to the hypophysial part, the semilunar to the semilunar ganglionic, the anterior meningeal to the dura mater of the brain and the fourth one is the ophthalmic. Ophthalmic is subdivided into many parts. The first comes the lacrimal. It supplies blood to the lacrimal glands of the eye, the central retina, the retina of the eye, the palpebral supplying the blood to the palpebral muscles, the anterior ethmoidal and the posterior ethmoidal. Next comes the supraorbital, the blood supplying to the upper region of the orbital cavity, the supraorbital. And next are the frontal and the dorsal nasals working simultaneously. And then the long posterior ciliary and the short posterior ciliary and the anterior ciliary one. So basically it's divided into many sub branches supplying the blood to the facial part and also some parts of the eye and means all divided. And next comes the cerebral. Cerebral is actually divided into four main parts anterior cerebral, middle cerebral, posterior cerebral and the choroidal. Anterior to the anterior part, middle to the mid part, posterior to the back side and the choroidal. The next I want to discuss about the circle of the willis. Circle of willis is formed by the anterior internal uh, carotid and the vertebral artery. The uh, is located on the base of the brain first of all and the first anterior part is formed by the internal carotid and the vertebral and the below part the posterior side is formed by the basilary artery along with the internal carotid and the vertebral. The organs located in the circle of willis are some infundibulum and the uh, optic chiasma and etc etc these are the organs and it mainly supplies anterior part the first two anterior cerebral hemispheres middle anterior lateral the middle hemisphere and the posterior the posterior hemisphere cerebral hemispheres so this was all about the circle of willis and all things hope you will like my first video and please subscribe to my youtube channel thank you and have a nice day